Kino is an award-winning simple media management app that runs on your Mac or PC, typically used in onset, post-production and editorial workflows, with a user interface that's obvious and accessible even to non-technical staff like production assistants, directors and producers. For more information on Kino, please take a look at the introductory videos that are linked at the end of this video. Kino's new Resolve integration lets you implement seamless editing workflows starting with on-set backup and field logging that can be done long before editing starts, even on the road. Securing valuable metadata as early in the process as possible makes editorial decisions easier and accelerates your edits, shrinks project sizes and makes your editing perfectly organized and thus faster. Kino's flexible metadata handling opens up possibilities for powerful team and also remote workflows. You can add descriptions, ratings, tags and time-based metadata, that is markers or subclips, which are like markers but apply to a range. Markers and subclips are particularly important for long clips to tell your editor where the interesting parts are and what's happening there. Extensive batch logging possibilities let you speed up the process considerably compared to logging in the editor. Once you have your footage pre-organized and annotated with metadata in Kino, you open your Resolve project, then select your footage in Kino and choose the Send to DaVinci Resolve option in the context menu. If you want, you can add a bin to be created in Resolve. In Resolve, you confirm that you want to import media and there it is. All metadata is now in Resolve. You see descriptions, tags are imported as keywords as well as seen and shot metadata and one star ratings and above are translated to good take metadata. This metadata can now be used for finding and filtering clips efficiently within Resolve. Markers and subclips can be seen in the media pool with their log notes and they can be used for quick navigation in your long takes. You can also see them in the player or later on your timeline. Subclips can be a real game changer because you can use them to make rough cut editing super fast. You just select the subclips that are displayed underneath their containing clip and drag them onto the timeline and there you go. Your first rough cut based on your field logging data is ready instantly. And don't forget that starting with this version, Kino also natively supports Blackmagic RAW. There's no better way of previewing, logging and then pre-selecting these massive files before you're at it. So enjoy this productivity boost in your Resolve workflow, whether you work alone or in a team, and do check out the other Kino features such as batch transcoding and many more media management features by watching the linked videos and let us know what you think about this integration in the comments section of this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on all things Kino and click on the linked videos to find out more.